Hello everyone, this is That's Matt Pizza with another Land Grazer mobile video, and today I'm actually uh, review uh, doing, I'm reviewing the match between Gillard Ingram and Wooper, uh, uh, which is part of the Summit der Land uh community tournament, and this is also the group, the st uh, six, top 64 stage, so this is pretty much the beginning of the s finals rounds. In any case, let's get dive into this analysis, so... As you can kind of, a uh, quick breakdown of both Gillard and Wooper's box. Uh, Gillard's box is a very slow, is a very slow four tank, bo four tank box. So what Wooper pretty much does here is he's going to start banning out major DPSs or units that can really win, uh, carry Gillard's team to kill, kill off Wooper's units. While Wooper's box, it's a lot more standard. It, it has two uh, two uh, tanks with a bit of a focus on myth of legends, and then there is a s and the, a little bit of mythical realm in there, and a little bit of glory. So it's kind of a mixed box that c has a lot of flexibility. In any case, let's get into the bans. So Wooper goes ahead and bans out SP Elwin since SP Elwin has a lot of range and he can do a lot of da- he can do a lot of damage. And then Gillard, since his box has a lot of AoE debuffs in it, he gets rid of Rose and Seal immedi immediately, and he first picks Bozel, since uh, Bozel can faction buff for his Ainz and his Albedo and uh, Licorice, but Licorice got banned. And here, Wooper picks up Juggler, so he can sort of, He can deal a bit... Deal with Bozel a bit better, since... Uh, Juggler can heal from off of AoEs. Okay, and Gillard here, he picks up Albedo since he hasn't banned out uh, SP Elwin yet. And Albedo can tank most of uh, Wooper's teams fairly well, except for pretty much all the AoE units and Yulia. So here, Gillard bans out Bozel and Yulia. Yulia, because she'll pretty much melt uh, Gillard's box, because. Yulia is very good against uh, two tank teams, and Bozel since he just drops a ton of AOE damage and can faction buff and uh, has a lot of debuffs. And here Gillard picks up uh, Liana since his since he doesn't have many healers left. Yeah, and then uh, Wooper bans out Rosenseal and Ainz because uh, Ainz can get faction buff by Bozel and Rose. Uh, Rosalia just has a lot of range, which can be annoying. And here, Wooper picks up uh, Shefaniel, which is a very good pick, because essentially, what, as you can kind of see right here, Gillard is pretty much forced into picking a second healer or a second tank, so his overall DPS is incredibly low. While Wooper... Uh, while Wooper... Well, plus, uh, Shefaniel can pretty much deal bypass both Landius and uh, Elusia's guards, because she's just pretty much all AoE, and due to Shefaniel's talent, she can also just spam AoEs as well. So, that would give Wooper, essentially Wooper the advantage in da the damage tracking if um, both are forced to uh, the time limit for this match. Okay, and so Gillard picks up Sophia, which is actually a very good pick as well, because uh, he can rewind um, Gillard's team, allowing Bozel to spam his AoE a little bit more frequently. And Wooper picks up Wyler, which is another good pick on Wooper's part, because um, he'll have some extra healer, um, extra healings, extra healing to deal with Bozel's debuffs and AoE. And pretty much, um, Gillard has to use Bozel to essentially carry his team, and that'll be very hard against a juggler plus two healers. And then a second tank. So as you can kind of tell right here, uh, uh, this is both both teams do not have a lot of damage essentially, and that's because both team has both teams have two tanks who normally don't do a ton of damage, and both teams have two healers. So basically, any damage that is done uh, will get healed up pretty much immediately, and both are just pretty much relying on AOE to carry them through this match. In any case, let's get into it. 
So let's just do a quick uh, skill rundown. So Bozel, this Bozel is probably Bracer since he has three movement and uh, pretty high defenses. Uh, da 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 da. Yeah. So as you can see here, Landius isn't bringing faction buffs since he's pretty much uh, Gillard is pretty much relying on uh, Sophia to just buff up Landius, and that's also good because. He can potentially stun one of Wooper's units, but uh, that might be a bit hard because route the stun from route can also be dispelled by any healing. And then Gillard also brought prayer on on his Liana, so he has she has a lot of healing. And then Albedo just brought kind of the standard stuff, just block uh, instead of block kite shield since. Wooper's tanks probably have fixed damage immunity, so that won't do, be doing much. And then, and pure desire would be a uh, just uh, damaging skill that can be used occasionally. And here, you can kind of see that uh, you can see that Wooper is bringing uh, dispel, tactical retreat, and mass heal to deal with all the debuffs coming out from uh, Bozel. And then, I want to bring attention to. Uh, Wooper's skill set on Juggler in that he brought Master of Ice instead of Beast Shock and I can understand why he'd want to bring Master of Ice because it would allow uh, Juggler to uh, stay in water when Triton goes down and when his Sacred Beast Sim is down as well but I think he should have brought Beast Shock here instead but I'll get to that later uh, Landius is bringing standard stuff and then Shafaniel is bringing uh, her 3C and then Demolish and then Reinforcement. I th At this point, I'm kind of just debating if it would have been better for Wooper to bring uh, two, uh, two, uh, three, no, three AoEs instead of uh, one AoE and then her 3C because that would have allowed her to spam a little bit more consistently, but her 3C is also really good, so there's that. In any case... Oh yeah, and I just want to bring up that both Demolish and Divine Judgment can dispel buffs, so I think what Wooper was aiming to do was to just dispel all, uh, all of Gillard's um, uh, guard skills, but the thing is, uh, Albedo's guard talent covers a ring around here, and land it, so dispelling her two range guard wouldn't be super, eff wouldn't be super effective. Plus, uh, Gillard also has Sophia, who can pretty much constantly apply defensive buffs as well. So, there's that. Okay, let's get into it. So, essentially, uh, what I see here is both, uh, both players are pretty much going to be forced to run into the center as soon as possible to get uh, positioning advantage. Because both teams pretty much will not be able to kill any of their units due to their team comps. And then, yeah, this is a very good move by Wooper in that he's acting again a juggler. So juggler can pretty much just rush in and lock down Landius and start claiming this pretty much this safe zone. This safe zone, and what I mean by the safe zone is it's it's um the safe zone is pretty much like a two by three cell um, zone where the poison fog that instantly kills your units. Uh, spawn uh, instantly kills your units does doesn't go into. In any case, so Sophia goes in and so applies her talent to herself, and yeah, pretty much this whole the this whole thing is just uh, Wooper claiming the center, which is very smart. So. Gillard uh, heals up his team, applies all the defensive buffs, and uh, dispels water so he can actually move around. But that gives uh, Wooper the chance to just start claiming more spaces in the safe zone. And so, I think I personally think this move was not great because uh, because essentially, yeah, he Gillard really should have saved his route because. His Landius was in range of 
Weiler, and the Weiler could just easily dispel that and stun. He should have saved that for later. Like, I think he probably should have either moved his Liana or his Albedo next because both can't really do much, especially the Albedo, because at this point, Albedo is pretty much known for her guarding skills and not really her damage, so all she'd really want to do is just um, stand around and guard her team. Like, it probably would have been better for him to move his Albedo up so he could cut, uh, swing his uh, his uh, Bozal into this square and be protected. In any case, next. So, Gillard actually goes in and sleeps uh, his Landius and... Normally I'd say that that's normally normally I'd say that it's pretty good, but due to the fact that at, but normally it most people bring B Shock on jugglers, so if Gillard did that and Blooper brought B Shock that it would have been a dead bozel and Gillard would have pretty much lost this match since he would have had no DPS to start Yeah, he would have had no DPS to get rid of any of Blooper's units. Any case, he got lucky that Wooper didn't bring uh, B Shock and his Bozal safe. <laughs> okay, so let's keep moving. So Wooper throws down a Sky Archer, and um, I believe Wooper brought Sky Archers because he wanted to deal with Bozal's debuffs, but he pretty much already has Wyler to do that. Also, he could use Sky Archer to start claiming spaces in the safe zone, but it. He probably would have wanted to put like one of his main units into the safe zone rather than a Sky Archer. In any case, we keep moving on. So yeah, nothing is really happening at the moment, since except for the fact that everybody's just cl both teams are trying to get into the center. Uh, Wooper throws down Shafali uh, you know, three C and does a lot of damage and just for the uninitiated shell faniel has a lot of like cooldown cooldown built into her talent so she can pretty much throw out her aoe's for free and gillard makes another questionable move in that uh he moves his landius out of outside the safe zone so he's pretty much giving whooper more opportunity to claim more spaces for himself in the safe zone like, at this point, I probably, uh, Wooper probably would have wanted to just move his Shafaniel up to this square and then start blocking off Gillard and then start claiming the other set, the other tiles in the, in the safe zone. Plus, he has so much healing that he could pretty much deal with any debuffs that come from Bozal. But instead, uh, uh, Wooper actually just throws down a Demolish from that same square and dispels a bunch of debuffs and doesn't do much more. But that's not too much of a big deal since Shelf pretty much has Demolish up again next turn due to her talent. So I think Wooper prematurely uses Dispel. Like, I think here he probably would have wanted to hold on to Dispel or just not use a skill on Wyler because none, none of his units were really that damaged in the first place. In any case, um, Gillard heals up Bozal, reapplies her buffs to him as well, and then um, Gillard throws down a black hole onto Wooper's entire team and does a good amount of damage and applies a bunch of debuffs, and then he does it again, does a bunch of damage to Wooper, but Wooper's saved pretty much all of his skills to deal with this, so what's going to... He can pretty much just dispel all these debuffs on his team with just Sky Archer and Liana, which he's going to do right now. Yeah, so debuffs go down. Um, Wooper throws on Gospel, so uh, Juggler isn't affected by that. And ooh, this is a very interesting move by uh, Gillard in that he acts again Bozal right here. And um, you can't see it, but essentially... What Gillard can do now is essentially spam two more uh, AoEs onto Wooper after using uh, Sophia's Rewind. And that what all that will do will just bring back all of Bozal's AoE skills. It'll also bring back Liana's Act Again skill. It'll also bring back um, Route on Landius. So that gives 
uh, Gillard a lot of flexibility into just debuffing and messing up uh, Wooper's formation. So to respond, Wooper throws down another 3C in hopes of killing something. And he almost kills uh, Liana, but it's just not enough. And Landius, uh, Landius' aura. Well, actually, I think Landius didn't have his aura up. So, aura. Oh, wait. Yeah, he had his aura up. So Liana just barely survives due to Landius' aura. And that also kind of shows why Landius is just such a good unit. Even though his skills are kind of meh. Like, his aura is just so good. In any case... Uh, so Weiler throws down Mass Heal on his team, heals up his team a bit, and finally gets rid of that uh, heal heal block on Wooper. And so yeah, what I said before, Gillard just rewinds his team, and na now he sleeps out, sleeps Liana. And I personally would have thought to um, sleep Shafaniel, because that would have given him another turn to actually... East to pretty much safely heal up and throw down debuffs. Plus, what he could do is just wait for Bozal to act last, act last before throwing down his AOEs on on Wooper because Wooper would have been forced to move uh, both of his healers before Bozal. But this also works since pretty much Wooper doesn't have any uh, specific he won't be able to dispel any buffs coming down from Bozel now. So Weiler throws down Dispel on his team and moves him in. And I'm not too sure about that move because what's going to happen is Bozel's just going to slam all of his debuffs into Wooper. And Wooper can't really do much about it. And he won't be able to dispel boss next turn. So, yeah, here comes the Zetsubo Seo, and Wooper eats a ton of debuffs again. Uh, luckily, his juggler has Gospel on now, so he doesn't have to worry about that as much. And now Landius throws down his uh, faction buff, and now Gillard just acts again Bozel, and Bozel's gonna, I believe, Earthquake or either... Uh, yeah, he's gonna either Earthquake or Sleep this turn. Oh, instead he actually tries to finish off, um, he actually tries to finish off, uh, Juggler because his water ran out. So, what Wooper did was very smart in that he moved, uh, uh, Juggler onto defensive terrain and that pretty much saved Juggler from, prevented Juggler from dying. In any case, um, uh, I kind of think this movement was a bit sloppy on Wooper's part. Well, actually that's fine because, um... Uh, I meant on Gillard's part, but uh, I think that's, that move is actually fine because Wooper couldn't move any of his units in to claim that square. So now uh, Albedo tries to use Impure Desire on Juggler to finish him off, but Juggler is just too tanky, and Albedo honestly cannot do much damage. She's only really good at like finishing off units with when she has advantage against them or just units that are, don't have any troops. So yeah, Gillard is just spamming debuffs onto Wooper now, and there's really not much he can do about it. Uh, though Wooper does act smartly, and he uh, he act, he acts again and acts again Weiler in the hopes of actually dispelling the silence on Weiler, so he could potentially dispel no more debuffs, but it didn't happen. And then that gave. Um, Gillard the opportunity to just finish off his Liana with <clears throat> with uh, Landius. And so Gillard here is just reapplying buffs to uh, his team and healing them up back to full. And then Shelf can't do anything this turn because she's silenced. And so essentially Gillard is just burning turns. So he uh, Wooper is pretty much forced to use all of his units bef before let um, for, before, um, Gillard actually starts acting on his team. So, yeah, at this point, Gillard's kind of bur burning turns, but he really needs to act fast, because in uh, two turns, Fog will be where his healers are, and they will pretty much be dead, if, unless he can get in, back into the safe zone. So, yeah, right here, Gillard is just trying to finish off 
any unit at this point to to get back into uh to get the advantage <clears throat> and then he uses sleep on chevalier which is a good move since that would buy him a little bit more time and it's pretty much make or break it for gillard right now he has to kill a unit or he he's gonna start losing all he's gonna lose liana sophia and landius in case um Giller, um, Wooper kind of does an, an, an unnecessary, unnecessary move. And, well, I don't think attacking Sophia there was a good idea. Instead, he probably should have tried to attack, um, Bozel since, uh, he wasn't guarded. Oh, wait, uh, never mind. Um, uh, the Bozel was covered by the Albedo, so never mind. So, there really wasn't much Wooper could have done. Not, honestly, he probably should just not have acted with landius because he took a lot more damage than he dealt and he needs as much health as possible and so yeah by attacking he pretty much opened his landius to getting killed off by uh by albedo's impure desire and then pretty much it's opening pretty much opened up landius to getting finished off this turn and allowing um, gillard to actually get into the safe zone which i believe he's gonna do soon so yeah, Wooper is just trying to put down damage onto onto Gillard, but it's just a little too uh, too little too late. And yeah, Landius gets finished off by Bozel, and Bozel is able to move into the safe zone now, and Liana is able to move into the safe zone as well. So um, we Gillard has three units in the safe zone now, and Wooper has his remaining three units in the safe zone. But unfortunately. Uh, both Shafaniel and Wiley are silent, so they can't really do much at this point. But uh, the damage, the damage is really close at the moment, so Wooper may still be able to clinch this out by surviving and then sp um, winning via damage. So Gillard burdens to turn with Liana, heals up his team, and then uh, Wyler finally gets finished off now and. It's not looking good for Wooper because now uh, Gillard can move four units into the safe zone, as opposed to uh, uh, as opposed to Wooper's two. And now um, Jogger gets stunned, so Shafaniel's in a uh, tight spot. And then Gillard, what Gillard does here is he moves Albedo into the fog, and it burns uh, Albedo's first life, and that gives Sophia the, ter the opportunity to move into the safe zone and use rewind next turn so yeah Wooper is just trying to kill something and he finally finishes off albedo and he is getting a lot of damage uh, he is getting a lot of damage with shafaniel but uh gillard still has two healers so shafaniel just does not have the damage and that's a pretty smart move on Gillard. So what happened there is um, he waited for Juggler to uh, he waited for Juggler to act so he could just stun him again. And, and this stun isn't dispellable, but that doesn't really make a difference <laughs> at this point. And then uh, uh, Gillard finally attacks the shelf, but she doesn't take much damage since she has... Uh, Wyler's talent on her, but this shelf can really can't do much at this point because she got silenced last by still soul stealer headdress. So yeah, it's pretty much a game against Wooper since he just cannot out damage. Uh, he just can't out damage uh, Gillard at this point, and his Shafaniel can't be guarded because Juggler was stunned. So yeah, all in all, I feel like this is a this is a very very close match and just every small mistake every single small mistake made a difference in this match and gillard just ended up making probably was able to capitalize on the mistakes get um, wooper made so here uh wooper changes out uh, his yulia for claret to give him more threat range and um gillard didn't make any changes to his box and uh, just want to, uh, the bans are pretty much the same on Gillard, Gillard's part, but this time Wooper actually uh, bans out Bozel first since 
he does provide a lot of support to his team. So Wooper first picks Landius, which is a very good pick, and since he's Lancer, he should be able to deal with SP Elwin. Uh, Gillard gets rid of uh, gets rid of Rachel, uh, Rachel and Zerida. Zerida for the threat range, and then uh, Rachel for the synergy between Landius and her. And here Gillard actually first picks one of his four tanks, and I don't think that was a good idea because... Essentially, that gives Wooper the opportunity to ban out all of his, uh, more of his, dan like, carry units, and uh, Gillard really needs as many carry units as possible on his team. Plus, Albedo doesn't actually provide any faction buffs, so she's pretty much, Gillard will probably want to pick up Sophia uh, early if he wants to actually get any defensive or offensive buffs on his team. And here, a Wooper does the smart thing and bans out uh, Rosenseal, Rosenseal and Liana. Lian Rosenseal for the the debuff protection, and then Liana for the act again and did the de de debuff the spell. And here, I'm think uh, I thought Gillard would probably want to pick up Sophia because he really wants to get those buffs in. But here, he actually picks up uh, Wyler because he can actually dispel buffs on Rain, which is also a fair pick. And Gillard pretty much just banned out uh, more of Wooper's uh, debuffs, and uh, the and he got rid of a faction buff for uh, Rain. Plus, he also got rid of um, and he also got rid of Sage's ability to create annoying terrain for his long legged units. So Wooper here picks up Shafaniel again, and this is just not looking good for Gillard at all because. Albedo can't do much about about uh, AOEs, and all that Gillard really has left is uh, Mystery Knight, who pro won't be able to do much damage to Landius, and then some other AOE short-legged mages who will get eaten, just completely eaten up by Reen and Shafaniel and uh, Ros Rosalia, who he didn't pick this turn, but he'll uh, he Gillard will pick later. Uh, this instead he picked up Sophia, I mean Yulia, and then Wooper just banned out uh, um, Elwin and Sophia, so so his Yulia uh, Gillard's Yulia doesn't get any buffs. And then Wooper picks up Rosen, um, not Rosenseal, Florentia for the act for unique buffs and healing, and then he loses. Uh, Lolly Jessica and Claret. Lolly Jessica could have teleported Reen in and done a lot of massive damage, and then Claret um, could be very destructive with her single target strikes. And here Gillard uh, picks up Rosalia, and then he loses his Alusia and Mystery Knight, and he he's left with Eins and. Eins and Landius. Landius really can't do much against Rain, especially since he's a Lancer, and then he's pretty much left with Eins as his last pick. Wooper gets um, Elwin last pick because most Albedos pretty much run a Blood Pact on run a Blood Pact, and because of her talent, uh, this the uh, dispelling her two range guard isn't a huge deal. And so, in response to the Albedo pick, uh, Wooper tosses on Steel Winged Warriors, so he can actually do some damage to Albedo. And essentially, Wooper pretty much won this draft phase. Like, there is no good, like, there's no good, w yeah, pretty much all Wooper needs to do is just run Shafaniel and Reen it into the middle and then just clean and then just clean up uh, Gillard's team. Well, Gillard has to... I don't really see any any way he can win unless Wooper makes a, a massive mistake, which, what do you know, he, do, uh, he makes. So, as you can see, Rosalia is actually positioned very far aggressively, and if you know, if you played against or with a Rosalia, you know that... Uh, this current setup gives her pretty much six extra movement, and unfortunately for uh, Wooper, uh, his Shafaniel's in range of uh, Rosalia, so just 
show you. Uh, Rosalia will use chivalry, goes right there, and then uses the sword move or whatever it's called to one, two, three, move here, and then threaten Shafaniel. So, uh, what I'd say to Wooper is just be a little bit more careful about positioning your units or moving your units when you're faced with units that have essentially 11 movement. Uh, 11, 11 movement, yeah. In any case, uh, Gillard does exactly what I just showed you. And I actually didn't notice this when I was initially reviewing this. And uh, I was really surprised this happened. But I I have to commend Gillard for noticing this and just taking the opportunity. And yeah, Shafaniel gets murdered right here. And yeah, there's really not much he can do. And then in response, uh, Wooper uses an AoE skill to add some damage onto uh, Rosalia. And then, yeah... He's going to still keep positioning aggressively. And there's just a lot of things Wooper needs to take into account. Like, Reen's transformation is going to run out right now. So unless if unless he uses the Spirit Unification skill, uh, Reen is going to get silenced for two turns, which is very unideal in this situation. And then uh, Landius needs to use his, two, uh, his guard skill, so uh, Rosalia can't threaten any units in his team. Or you could just go up and kill the Rosalia and just stop thinking about her. <laughs> so yeah, here uh, uh, Wooper throws down the two, um, the two range skill on Landy. Um, he throws down Landy's guard. Uh, Gillard uses Unmortal on uh, on Ions to just get his HP up a little bit higher. And because he uh, Ainz really wasn't in range to do anything. And then uh, Rosalia uses uh, Resounding Might to get a couple more, uh, two more stacks. And then, yeah, here, Wooper acts a little bit hastily, in my opinion, to throw down uh, Reen's 3C. And so what I mentioned, I mentioned that, Reen just gets silenced this turn, as I mentioned it in, uh, last turn. And he's not going to be able to dispel this silence. So he's Reen is pretty much not going to be able to do anything for two turns. I think he should have been a little bit more patient and throw down, threw down uh, Reen's 3C after he used the transform skill. In any case, <clears throat> let's move on. So what ends up happening is... Uh, Gillard just dispels pretty much all of Reen's debuffs with his dispel and his dispel and yeah, with dispel and force priests. So pretty much Reen's three C does nothing at this unfortunately. So Wooper kind of uh, realizes this that mistake and moves uh, uh, moves Reen back and here he has the opportunity to act again, the Reen to get rid of that silence like pretty much immediately but i think he wanted to save it for a more impactful move but he really can't do much at this point and so Ainz throws down his 3c on whooper's team doesn't really do much but does apply some nasty debuffs and yeah it gets rid uh <coughs> elwin gets rid of the debuffs on him and then he just He's going to move into the safe zone to dispel some buffs on on Albedo, but Albedo gets a block proc, and Elwin pretty much does not a lot of damage. And then Gillard just heals it up, so it's looking really bad for Wooper since his reign was pretty much did nothing for two turns, and then, yeah. And then finally, uh, Yulia starts showing her, met, uh, her metal and just starts and takes out Landius's first life. And here, uh, Gillard is in a bit of a bind since... Well, Wooper's in a bit of a bind since Gillard can just go in and auto-attack any unit he really wants at the moment. Though, Albedo's pretty much stuck back here since she can't guard all of Gillard's units if... Yeah, Gillard's units if she moves. Well, unless uh, he 
Gillard moves his Weiler like back here, and then he can move Albedo up one square, uh, one square to cover his entire team. In any case, uh, Looper finally uses Sun Sunstrike on Rain to give him the ability to transform this turn and a little bit of more flexibility in throwing down, de throwing down on his debuffs next turn. And here, uh, Gillard actually uses uh, Skyfall on Ions and. Personally, I don't think that's the best. What what a bit is the best choice of skill right here because uh, Gillard doesn't really have any support da damage. Well, he doesn't have any other AOE units that he could help support Ions do more AOE damage to Wooper. Here, I think he might have wanted to take uh, Black Hole to potentially apply more nasty debuffs on Wooper's team. And even though Florentia does have Forest Priest, her Dispelling capabilities are kind of low, as compared to some other healers. So Wooper uh, transforms of Reen, requires, recovers 20% health with Reen's talent, and then um, I think this is a bit of a mistake as well, since what Gillard can do is he can just move uh, move Weiler into that square to cover cover more. Well, he can't move Weiler in there for free because then. Landius would just attack him. In any case, uh, let's keep going. So, Land uh, Weiler does nothing, and then uh, Gil uh, Gillard does the gets a really nice pick on Florentia, and that's because um, Sophia, uh, not Sophia, but Yulia, Yulia, uh, Yulia's godly menace is up, so uh, Landius can't guard anything. So Gillard just uses Mass Heal on his team, removes the debuffs that Reen just uh, used, and then he hits uh, Albedo again with uh, hits Albedo again with Sword Soul, and this time it does a lot of damage. Like, let's just take a quick look at that. Uh, it's only no on. Yeah, so pretty much. Uh, Steel Wings are going to just punch through most of the Crystal crystal Warlocks. And since Albedo's infantry, she has a huge type disadvantage against Elwyn, so Elwyn just does a ton of damage to her. But doesn't kill her, which is the most important thing. In any case, uh, Gillard reapplies uh, Albedo's 3C. And then here, uh, Wooper gets super lucky in that... Um, in that Reen survives with 600 health, then he applies the reverse heal to Yulia in response, and then Yulia is pretty much dead, dead at this point. And just kind of looking at Gillard's setup, he probably would have wanted to use Holy Justice instead of Discipline, because just Holy Justice has just that 0.1% more damage as opposed to Discipline, and Reen's just really hard to kill in general. Oh, also, it would have dispelled all of Reen's uh, Ogre buffs as well. No, not Ogre buffs, but uh, Ashen Chevalier. So he would have had uh, four, eight less magic defense. In any case, that opens up Gillard to getting completely messed up by Reen's 3C. Wooper gets a really lucky uh, rewind on a really lucky clock on Reen and pretty much everything just turns around like it's really it's really scary so albedo um loses her first life to landius in a pretty in a pretty unfortunate attack like let's just see that again so, oh yeah and this is mostly because um uh whooper gets a lucky thorns proc so so yeah, she just pretty much dies, but luckily Gillard gets a lucky uh trimesis uh block uh trimesis block on Elwyn. Well, she gets a lucky damage reduction buff, and so she just barely survives Elwyn's assault. And let's just double check that. So Elwyn actually heals up a bit, but he doesn't heal up uh his Steel Wings soldiers that much, so he really isn't able to do much damage. And that's kind of unfortunate, because that just opens him up to getting finished off by Ainz. But 
that's kind of a blessing in disguise because now uh, Reen is fully transformed. He can't leave the state, and since he clocked, uh, he has his 3C back up again. So, two th Reen's 3Cs three, three in a row, and oh my god, he gets another clock buff on him. So, Gillard is pretty much... Well, Wooper is getting super lucky in putting... Uh, uh, putting a uh, Gillard in a very tough position but it's really it's just really close all around because Weiler pretty much is dead at this point and he can't really heal up Ainz without killing him due to the heal reversal so yeah he's just in a, hot, a tough spot so what he does instead is he just applies a mass heal on hi him and Albedo to dispel a couple debuffs and keep himself alive and then Albedo is wise, and she just does not act since she can't do any damaging skills. And pretty much due to the debuffs on her right now, due to uh, both Landius and Reen, uh, she gets Impure Desire back, I believe, this turn. So here Gillard is just attacking safely with his Reen. And since he doesn't have... And since uh, Reen is was debuffed with heal block that turn uh, he doesn't get to heal, heal. but unfortunately uh Ainz is really low and he probably won't be able to damage rain so he just repositions Ainz uh Gillard repositions Ainz closer to the safe zone so uh, he has a bit more movement room while also restricting Wooper's movement but unfortunately due to Wooper getting a clock on Rain's 3c he's gonna throw down that 3c next turn Unfortunately, uh, uh, Gillard probably would have want, want to hang on to that Dispel, because what's going to happen is he's going to drop another 3C, and Gillard won't have any ability to deal with it, and unfortunately, Ainz gets hit with another heal reverse and dies because of it. So here's just kind of the interesting thing, entering, interesting things, because... Because Albedo has two debuffs on her, um, pretty much her Impure Desire will be up next turn. And so here, uh, Gillard smartly uses Regroup on his Wyler, so Wyler has more opportunities to... Uh, so Wyler stays alive a little bit. And uh, personally, I think this move was a bit unnecessary, because what would have happened was uh, Albedo would have just hit transferred all of these the eat all of these debuffs to rain uh when he uses impure desire which would have put in rain at a higher chance of just dying but in case um uh, let me just check this debuff oh and okay <clears throat> yeah it's not this was an okay move because essentially that damage decrease would have decrease the damage uh, albedo does by 20 percent but due to impure desires effect um she would have done an extra 30 percent damage anyways due to uh her, the effect of impure desire so what i would have done here instead is just used impure desire with albedo first and then uh moved weiler but in any case this isn't a this isn't a bad move because uh Albedo's just going to Impure Desire here and leave Rain with a little bit of H, pretty much no HP left. But unfortunately, uh, he has Fatal Arch Slash again and he silences Albedo. So, uh, Gil so just looking at the damage, damage charts, Gillard pretty much has two turns to finish off this, uh, this Rain. So what I'm thinking is, yeah... He does the smart thing in that he has Albedo act first, so Impure Desire goes off cooldown immediately, and then he just attacks with Wyler, which doesn't really do much, but it's nice. And then, uh, finally, uh, uh, Rian actually got his Transform skill up again, so that's just another extra 20% health. So, Gillard pretty much needs to kill off Rian this turn, otherwise he's going to lose. And luckily, uh, because he is smart with his impure desire tank, uh, his impure desire usage, he's able to finish off uh, Marine this turn and win the fully win this match. 
And yeah, I just have to commit in both players because both playing was really good. And just every single mistake, every little mistake pretty much caught, caught them, cost them the match. And that's just kind of high level play in Langris or Mobile for you because if you make a small mistake, it can snowball into a, it can snowball real easily because the other player will probably be able to notice and capitalize on that mistake. In any case, um, I would say good job, Gillard. Good luck with your next match. Will be played very well. I would recommend just reviewing these two matches just to find what mistakes you made and then kind of just learn from what those mistakes. But there's no shame in losing here. You did a great job as well. In any case, um, I, this was a great match, and I'm glad I got to review it. In any case, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.